Ironside Cycling Club B grade criterium. Victoria Park Tuesday night. Um, so I started. I end up starting my Garmin a couple my Wahoo a couple minutes late, a couple seconds late. Sorry. This is a decent field. There's about 12, 13 people here, but not not too many. I recognise some of these guys from the C grade race before. Um, so I was like, ah, all right, I'll do all right. I'll do all right. But little did I know that. It was going to be pretty hard. So you can't really see on this map, but basically there's wind coming. This is a basically a massive headwind. Um, so it's crosswind at basically the top and the tail, and then tailwind on the back straight, obviously. Um, but it was like crazy wind, like sort of 30, 35, 40, 50 k's an hour, maybe even at some gusts, um, which does not suit a rider who's like 60 kilos like me. Um, but yeah, basically, I mean, you already know I got dropped. Uh, I'd say number one reason I got dropped was just didn't have the power, like, I can claim positioning and all that bollocks, but to be honest, like, my normalized power is like 323 watts, which, so I just can't do that, but this guy here, like, I had no idea about the strength of the guys or whatever, so I was like, alright, I'll go around him, but he actually ended up being quite a strong, strong guy, and this corner, I'd ridden it before, but like, I didn't really know how fast they'd take it, but these guys, they rail this corner, um, obviously they raced it a lot more than me, but you can see there's just gap city already. If you look ahead, there's just crazy amounts of gaps. This is just the first lap. And look, like I took this corner really narrow. I could have gone a lot faster, I think, into it. And then basically had a massive gap to close. Luckily, that guy sort of closed half the gap for me. But it was, yeah, it was just bad. Like I was just at the back and I just could never move up. And you can look at the numbers, like the numbers that don't lie. Like it was quite a hard race. And the people who won in the breakaway sort of had like a well, Strava weighted power of like 350, which is probably like a 370 normalized power, which is which is insane for B grade. Um, and there's no real way I can compete. Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to race next week, but if I do, I'm not sure if I'm going to go B or C, probably C, because I think, like, in reality, it's going to be hard for me to compete, just even if I have good positioning. So we skip ahead here, there's a couple breaks going or whatever. And this is like, I was like feeling like, oh, it's hard, but you know, I, I think I might be able to survive if I can just move up, because I knew I was at the back, and I kept looking around, and there was, like, literally no one behind me, so I was like, oh, here we go, I probably should have followed that guy in retrospect, and got, gained some position, but anyway, I'm sort of here, like, not really doing anything, and, like, just wasting energy, and now I'm at the very back, again, and this course just gets strung out so much, um, and it was just not good at all for me, um, so you can see here, like, I move up a couple positions here, but not really, um, and then around this corner, I lose more positions. I think my cornering is the other thing. Like, I'm just not good enough at cornering. Um, so around this corner, I like initially I didn't pedal, but I think actually it was fine. I definitely could have pedaled the whole time. So now we skip ahead a, a bit more just to basically the last couple of laps before I get dropped. You can see already my heart rate's absolutely sky high. I'm mean, really in the hurt box here. Hands are on the on the like hoods. And like these guys, they're like pretty strong on the flats, and I, I just couldn't really compete. Um, but I think I could have saved like a lot of energy. Like I would have been able to survive longer if I'd cornered better been in a better positioning then I would have been able to last longer but ultimately like there's no way I could have survived doing what I was doing for the whole hour literally just because I physically can't do that much power like it's physiologically impossible for me at this moment in time um so that's that's like accepted fact but what pissed me off about my ride today was that like or yesterday actually uh when I'm re re recording this was just like I just didn't really get involved I was just like there sort of waiting at the back and not not getting involved and I think at the lower grades it's fine just because people don't go out the corners that fast like you sort of I'm I sort of know I'm relatively strong so I, if I do make a mistake I can can do all right and sort of get past but here you just can't like because these guys their sprints are a lot faster than me like they they can snap out the corner like there I don't even hit 800 watts well they'll probably be doing a thousand watts out of every corner like obviously I'm lighter so my acceleration obviously will be I don't need as many watts but you can see here we have like it's not, it's not easy, but I think if I'd moved up a bit more, it would, could have been easier. Um, but I think the other problem I have, I think, um, what well, a disadvantage is that, like, obviously these guys have ridden the course so much more than me, so they know exactly how to nail these corners, and I was like, well, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I need to learn, I need to get better at cornering and just practice, practice really railing them. I think maybe my crash had a little bit to do with it, but I think that's more of an excuse for myself than actually like why I couldn't corner fast because I know I can corner fast I just need to actually pay attention and look ahead like when the guy's pedaling when the guy's leaning in the corners etc etc but it was a good workout definitely so I'm 60 kilos and my like uh what's it called FTP it's 300 watts and so like it was going to be hard for me to survive but I could have done it if I just well no sorry I probably couldn't have survived the whole thing um but I could have done better and survive longer if I'd if I just had slightly better positioning 
So look, look, like here, I'm just at the very back and I just can't really move up. But like I'm going 50 k's an hour, okay, fine. This wasn't full gas. I probably could have moved up here. But it's like when you're in the hurt box, like it's really hard to move up just because like here again, I just get gapped off the back. Like I, I feel like I wasn't really like paying attention that much. I wasn't concentrating, like being like, right, I've got to hold the wheel, I've got to move up. I wasn't like in that. I was more like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm up for like a ride tonight or whatever. Like we'll just see how it goes. But I think that's because I've been a bit too... In my other race, I've been, it's been a bit, not too easy, but like I haven't had to, um, I wasn't on the limit the whole time. Well, this race, I was literally on the limit from about 20 seconds to a minute into it. Um, I think the first lap, we was already doing like 360 watts, which is like for two minutes, which is sort of like quite tough for me. So it's obviously with surges and things. So you can see here, we're coming up, like I just get on this corner here and then it's like recovery, 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 but even then, sometimes it would still then string out again. But I think here, like, I just had to move up. But the problem is no one was moving up. Like, everyone was pretty much single file for this part. I think if I maybe I survived a bit longer, I could have, might have got easier. But I, I, looking at the numbers, I just don't think it would have got easier. I think I just chose the wrong grade and just need to get, get stronger, basically. Uh, and then I'll be able to survive in B grade. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the racing here is pretty strong, to be honest. Like, it, obviously, I've never really raced, like, a high-end criterion before. This is the hardest race I've ever been in. But it was, it was pretty tough, um, which is, yeah, sort of understandable um, because it's a B-grade race and Adelaide people are pretty fast. But you can see again here, it's single file. Like, we are sort of flying along, going pretty hard. Um, but again, like, there's limited opportunity to move up. I guess if I was stronger, I probably could have moved up here because, again, I'm, I'm not doing, like, 300, 400 watts in the wheel. So I could have moved up, but I think it's more like you just it's really hard to move up when you're just like I already said like you're just so tired already you're like I, I don't really want to but you just have to and because it's going to be easier um and I think yeah we're coming up to the last couple of laps before I get spat and you can tell it's going to be on this corner because look look here like there's gaps here and I'm just like sprinting so hard and like wasting so much energy like I don't know if if it was my cornering that was so bad, or if it was I was at the back, I think it was probably a combination of both, like my cornering wasn't perfect, well, wasn't good probably, it was like probably sub substandard, but also being at the back together just makes it shocking. I mean, the only thing I could tell is that the guys ahead of me were also having trouble, like, st like they also had to put big accelerations in after that final call, like, because it was like, it is quite an accordion effect, but I think even so, yeah, it was tough. And I think the other thing is, because it was all single file, you get less protection from the wind, and that is, like, slightly crosswind part, which really did tie me out. But I think, yeah. I mean, I can make excuses all day long, but we just didn't have the legs, to be honest. <laughs> um, but, yeah. It's, it's just when you watch the race back, you're sort of like, oh, yeah, but it's just, it's like, it's not that hard. You just hold the wheel here when it goes hard, and then when it goes below 300 watts, below your threshold, just, you know, move up a couple of positions. But in reality, it's like, just didn't really happen like that at all. But getting around this corner again, I just lose the wheel. Like, I'm just like, oh, it's just so painful to watch, actually. Um, it's just really annoying, actually. And I just need to, like, like here again, like, well, how did I lose the wheel? I just don't even know. Like, just going around that corner, people put an acceleration. Just when you're at the back, you come out the corner, they're going, like, 5, 10 k's an hour faster. And I just didn't have that snap to close it. And I was just like, that's it, game over. I mean, we're going relatively far, like, 53 k's an hour. But it was a big tailwind. But again, it's just like... You can tell here there's already gaps, there's quite a lot of gaps, I think, like, it wasn't, you can tell it's, like, look here, like, on the right-hand side, you can see there's a lot of gaps, but I think the thing is they, the people ahead of me, they can just sprint, look how fast that guy closes the gap, the guy in the, the blue two ahead of me, like, he's pretty much closed it, and I'm still sprinting, like, full gas, 600 watts, like, 700 watts, it was just, it was horrible, and then here, this is basically when I'm, like, still going, and I just couldn't close that gap, um, and then again, I'm like in time trial mode, sort of trying to do it. But this has happened for like four or five laps consecutively. And I, that's when I knew, I was like, it's just game over. You've got to move up. But I just, I just couldn't. And it was just so dumb. And like, I'm really annoying. And then you can see here, I'm like coming. I'm still time trialing like decent effort. But if I'd been on the wheel, it would have been a lot easier here. And then I'm basically about at this point, I'm like, right, I'm going to pull the plug. And I'm like, can't be bothered. Um, but again, like, I could have closed it here because they, they slow up. But it was all me being dumb and mentally weak. But anyway, cheers for watching. Abuse me in the comments section. Say I'm a shit rider. That's what we like to hear. Um, if you want me to race B grade or C grade, leave a, leave a comment in the description. Leave the comments sorry, below and I will do a lot of the race in B or C next week. Depending on what you say. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next bit.